You know, in Maine, after the mass shooting that led to lockdowns and fear, communities in and around the town of Lewiston are coming together to kind of planning to heal after the mass shootings. And they're doing that as investigators still continue searching for a motive for the killings that left so many with unanswered questions. Fox's Ted Lindner reports on the latest. Raising their voices up in song and prayer. Hundreds of people across Maine are coming together to support the town of Lewiston and those impacted by the worst mass shooting in the state's history. We will not be defined by the tragedies that have happened here. 18 people were killed, more than a dozen were injured, when police say 40-year-old Robert Card allegedly opened fire at a bar in Bowling Alley in Lewiston last week. Trisha Aslin. The names of those who are gone but not forgotten read aloud during a crowded vigil on Sunday night. Pain is temporary. Healing is permanent. A motive for the deadly attacks remains unclear. Card's body was discovered in a trailer at a recycling plant southeast of Lewiston Friday after an intense manhunt. Card was an Army reservist with a history of mental health issues. Police say he died from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. What a life we have to go through. It's terrible. Leroy Walker's son was one of the victims killed during the mass shootings. As he tries to move past his grief, Walker is also helping the community regain some normalcy, working a local trick-or-treat event Sunday that his son was usually a part of. Most of these kids don't understand what happened a few days ago. This is a big thing to them. Makes me feel good inside that a community that has gone through the, the hell that has gone through can come out and still be the community and have fun. Ted Lindner, Fox News.